first of all, I, I went to art school and I studied painting. I wanted to be a painter. Realised I probably wasn't going to be the next Picasso. Um, but I was actually quite good at having ideas, and so I went to design school. And then whilst I was at design school, I had this wonderful man called John Gillard, who exposed me to, to advertising and how good it could be, as opposed to the boring stuff that one sees 90% of the time. And so whilst I was at design school, I, I started to study advertising, and then came out of design school with a, with a job in advertising. The strategic people would come to me and say, this is the strategy, we want to communicate that this brand, say it's LG, is all about creativity. And then, and it's playful, it has a playfulness to it. So then I would sit down and think, now how do we communicate that? How do we have ideas around that? And I would brief the creative teams to say, what I want for, for LG is the thought of creativity and playfulness. And I would guide them, I would help them with kind of this kind of idea or that kind of idea. And if they get stuck, I sit down with them and talk about what we could do or we couldn't do. So in a sense, we're, we're pushing and driving uh, the creative department. Beauty inspires me, but I think because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, you know, a lot of people would say, well, in advertising, what you need to do is you need to understand the consumer and you need to sell them something. Um, as opposed to, I like to do things which inspire people. Mm -hmm. So instead of, you know, trying to sell them something, I want them to come to me and to be inspired to buy something rather than just be instructed to buy something. So when I talk about beauty, beauty tends to have that effect upon people. They want to surround it, they want to be part of it. You've got to have a mind that's interested in stuff, that's what's going on, what's happening. And you've got to have, you've got to want to communicate. You've got to want to express ideas, because essentially that's all we are. We're an ideas factory. We sit around having ideas. So you've got to be able to go, I love that process, the process of having an idea which actually is a brilliant thing, because if you think about it, it's the most democratic thing that we do. Anybody can have an idea. You don't need special training for it, you don't need special equipment to do it, you can have it anywhere, and an idea can change the world. So you might have gone through art school, you might have, um, you just come out of university and you'd have, you'd have done you know, a general course, or you might go to an evening, evening school which can train you whilst you're doing another job in how to make it in advertising. So I've got to know that you can have ideas and you can actually put them down mm -hmm. and you can write them down and communicate them. So if you came in with a little notebook with the, with the things all drawn out and little sort of headlines, that'd be fine, that's great. And you say, give me help, this is it, this is my, here's my portfolio, it's a notebook with all my ideas written out and everything sketched out, if that's the way you want to do it. Or you might have it macked up if you're particularly good at being a Mac operator, you might Mac things up and print them out in a very sort of elaborate way. It's the best and worst. The best is having an idea, the worst is not having an idea.